Hello, I'm Linda from Balladies Body Blitz and here's little Minnie in her bucket bed. Today we're doing War Pilates Total Burn. We're gonna add in some weights today. So it's gonna be intervals, 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds to change over. I've got three different sets of weights, a heavier set, which is just seven kilos for my lower body. And then I've got a medium set, which is uh, five kilos and a lighter set in case I need it, which is three and a half kilos. So that's approximately 15 pounds, 11 pounds and eight pounds, if you're a pounds person. So we're going to get started without any weight, heat up our body, and then we're gonna move into all sorts of exercises using the weights and the wall. So it's a short and sharp workout, getting everything done in around 30 minutes. So let's get started. Actually, before we get started, I'll show you the first exercise. I just want you to stand in a wide plie position. Have your toe touching the wall. This will actually help you to keep your turnout at the same angle. All we're gonna do is come down into a plie and then come towards the wall, down into a plie and then other side. Now, when you're going other side, you can push your heel against the wall, okay? So that's all we're doing, side to side. Pressing start. So if you can, keep your toe against that wall, nice tall chest, down and side, down and side. So if you want to hold on to the wall, I've got my bar here, which isn't ideal, but this is kind of the best angle for me to film. So I kind of have to pretend the bar's not there, but obviously try and choose a wall where you don't have any furniture. Down and side. So try and get nice and low, warming up through the inner thighs, quads, hamstrings, glutes, and side, down, and side. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Now just put your butt against the wall and we're just gonna come down and up. Now if you can, cross over your arms, keep your butt against the wall, Keep your legs super straight and come all the way down as far as you can and use your lower back, thinking about coming up, really squeezing the muscles along either side of the spine and up, heating up and stretching at the same time. This is a great one to get your hamstrings activated. Up and down. You're hinging from the hips, you're never curving your spine. You're moving as a single unit. Up and down. Try and stretch, stretch, stretch behind the knees. Maybe you can go lower now that we're warmed up. Three, two, and one. I always want you to finish it. Now you're gonna slide your back against the wall. I'm going to pretend my back is against the wall. We're coming into a nice uh, hip width stance and we're gonna come down, come up, then lift one heel, down and up, other heel, down and up. So it's first of all, it's down and up, then lift one heel, lift the other heel, down and up. Hopefully we don't end up with white paint on our backs, <laughs> sliding up and down like this. You might wanna use a towel actually, or something that slides a little bit more easily. My leggings are very grippy at the moment. So this is actually harder <laughs> than if you were wearing something that's slippy. And down and up. Keep going. And down and up. Last set. Down and up. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, we're gonna get started with the weights. So I want you to grab your heaviest weights and we're going with our butt up against the wall again. And we're going to come into a hamstring deadlift. So try and keep your legs nice and straight. Come down and up. Okay, sorry, I had to take an interlude because look who's here. Come here. Yoda has decided to enter the building and this is a very rare sighting. It's a very rare sighting, isn't it, honey? Minnie's not too happy that his tail is in her face. You wanna eat this? If you eat this here, yeah, leave her alone. He attacks her sometimes. Not attacks, like not in a bad way, but jumps on her just playfully. And he keeps looking at the air conditioner thinking, what the heck is that? Okay, come on, we need to do our workout, darling. 
got leaves everywhere. Here, yeah, you can eat that. Eat that while mommy's filming. Okay, so butt against the wall. Yes, Yoda has entered. We're doing deadlift. So keep your butt against the wall. Keep your legs super straight. You're coming down and up. You come to your low point. Really trying to keep the legs straight in this one. I know with a lot of deadlifts, you have a slight bend in the knee. But if you can, just push your butt into that wall. And up. These are slightly lighter weights, so changing your position, keeping your legs dead straight, keeping your butt against the wall will not cause injury, like it might if you were using really heavy weights for deadlifts. Down and up. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're gonna do a wall sit with the weight in our lap. So come down to that same Wall sit, I'm gonna hold my weight and we're just gonna extend our legs. So keep your tummy braced, extend and down. Extend and down. So you come to your low point. You might have to wiggle around a bit to find the right positioning for your legs. I want you to really squeeze your quads as you extend that leg. Forward and down. I hope you're not too distracted by my little boy. It's rare that he's in a video. In fact, I think this is the first proper video he's been in, apart from a coffee talk. So, don't get distracted, keep going. Really extend, squeezing those quads. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're doing squats, just regular squats with your heavy weights again. It's up to you where you want to hold your weights. You can either hold them either side or you can bring them up and come down like this. I'm going to keep mine by my side, sitting back as if I'm about to sit into a chair. All the way back and up, back and up. So coming down, weight is in the heels. Hinging forward from your hips will mean that you're including your glutes more. So it's emphasizing your glutes rather than your quads. Down and up. Keep going. Slow and controlled. Really squeeze. You can work through the brakes if you want to. I'm just giving us more time so we can really set up properly. So we're gonna do a lunge. We're gonna hold the weight, one weight, in the opposite hand to the leg that's in front. Make sure you've got enough space. Down and up. Once again, if you prefer to hold your weight up here, you can. Otherwise, keep it down. I'm pushing my heel into the wall, getting that extra bit of intensity. You come to your low point, you don't have to come all the way down and then really squeeze the glutes. You could hinge forward a bit more if you wanted to, to put more emphasis in the glute of the front leg. Otherwise just keep it nice and upright. Down and up. Four, three. Two, one. Okay, now we're going to use the same leg that the heel was against the wall, turn around and put our toe against the wall. Okay, and we're gonna do a lunge. This time we're going to lean and actually make our knee touch the wall each time. So come down, tap and up. Down, tap and up. So I want you to kind of do a forward and back action. Now you will have your hands flat against the wall. Down. You can come as low as you want with the other leg, as long as you're pushing forward. And up. So push into that wall with your hands, get a little bit of upper body going as well. Maybe start tapping your knee down as you get warmer. As if we're not already warm. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, Two, one, okay, so we're going to switch it up. 
We're going to put the other leg against the wall. And then hold your weight in this hand. Make sure you've got a bit of space in between your legs horizontally. That's actually going to help stop, stabilize you, stop you from falling over. He wants to get out again now that he's eaten Minnie's crunchies. He comes in to the studio to eat her snacks and drink her water. And then he skedaddles again. Come on. Deep breaths. If you want that forward lean, you can take it. It's actually really nice for the knees, that forward lean. Push that heel into the wall. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're turning around again. So that foot that the heel was against the wall is now at the front. Find your positioning and we're gonna go down and tap. Down and tap. Ready? Down and tap. He didn't like me banging my knee against the wall. He thought the house was coming down. Come here. I'm trying to get him back in the shot, but he's not interested. So really push into the wall with those hands. Press. Can you tap your knee down? I'm trying to tap it down each time. It's a great stretch as well. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to do a curtsy lunge. So, bring the other leg behind and just go down and up in a curtsy position. Try and stay centered, so it's down and up. You don't have to come too low. Make sure you're centered. I'm slightly hinging forward, sending more weight into the front heel, which is activating that glute. Down and up. Breathing. Anytime you want to switch down to lighter weights, you definitely can. Seven, six. Two and one. Nice job, put them down safely. Now we're going to come against the wall. If you can, put your arm up, keeping that same curtsy. You don't have to fully put your foot against the wall. We're coming down and up. Sliding the other arm against the wall. Down and up. If you don't want to come all the way down, just come halfway. If you want to put your entire back, um, the, or actually the side body against the wall, you can. I just can't do that because of my bar. Otherwise, hinge forward slightly at the bottom and reach down, down and up. This angle, keeping your foot facing forward, actually makes it a little bit harder. The wall stops you cheating, right? And up, nice job. So we're doing the same thing to the other side. So the other leg is in front and you're doing that curtsy lunge, shoulders down and back. Deep breath in, and we're going down and up. Might take a little bit to just get your positioning right, which is totally fine. Hinging forward slightly with a flat back, nice long neck. Really feeling that. Exhaling on the up. Breathing really helps here. Three, two, 
and one, safely down. Sorry, I'm gonna to have to turn my back to you. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna tap down and up. So run your hand along the wall. Keep that nice crossover. If you wanna put your whole side body against the wall, you can. It just means you won't be able to touch all the way down, down and up. If you prefer to stay more upright with your body and just come halfway like this, you can. Keep going. Really feeling my outer thighs and glute medius. Two and one, nice job. Okay, we're gonna do some rows. Up to you if you wanna use your heaviest weights or your medium weights. We're gonna keep our butt against the wall, slight bend in the knees and pick it up. Shoulders down and back, hinge forward and just row and back down. Row and back down. So look in front of you. Keep your back flat here, no curving. If you want to come lower, you can. If you want your feet to be further apart, find the positioning that works for you. Up and down. Eight, seven. Last one. Put that down. And we're going to come with our knees on the floor, our entire shin against the wall, and we're just gonna tap opposite shoulders. Okay, push against the wall with those shins, tap and tap. <sighs> try to brace yourself, push against the floor to try and keep your rest of your body from moving around. <sighs> tap and tap. And up. Such a good core workout. I can feel my entire front abs firing big time. Nine seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to do like a renegade row. We're going to put our feet against the wall you can choose if you want to stay up on the weights or if you want to um, do one hand on the floor so you can have one hand on the floor now if you don't want to be up like this you can stay on your knees and you can put your feet against the wall this is so much more stable otherwise come up and you want a nice wide stance Up. You can use your lighter weights if you need to. Two and one. Nice job, oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna do a push up against the wall without any weights. So put your hands at the distance that you like them for wall push-ups. These are actually easy compared to what we've been doing. So you choose where you want to be. The lower down you are, the harder it is. I've got a bar in the way so I can't really change my angles too much. But bend and extend. Press against that wall. All the way. Push, push. Try to move your entire body as a single unit. 
Nice job. We're doing chest press. Come onto the floor. Um, I'm going to put my feet up on the wall. This actually really helps with keeping your back aligned and press up. Now these weights are quite light for chest press, so we're going to go faster. But if you have heavier weights, slow it down, down and up. Just keep it safe. Flow up on the up, or out on the up. <laughs> As you get tired, slow it down. You go at your own pace. That's the beauty of interval workers. You don't have to stay on my pace. Up. Two and one. Nice job. Put that down. We're going to come facing the wall this time. We're going to come into a triceps push-up and then put your hand on the wall and a small bend press, alternating sides. So it's a tricep, put your hand on the wall, a small bend press. You're going to have to find the right distance away from the wall. Down. It's a tiny bend press. Keep pushing, really push into that wall as you do that bend press. Down and up. Okay, we're coming back with our legs up against the wall and you might want to use your medium weights here. We're doing skull crushes. So, Bring your arms up really close together. Bring them down towards your temples and up. Down and up. Slow and controlled all the way up. Keeping your elbows facing in the same direction. Try to keep your arms quite narrow here and push overhead. Some people like to do them further back and come all the way down, you can do that. I kind of like this controlled version. I find it much harder. And push, 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 push. And last one, push, 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 push. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna keep one weight. Come into a position where your foot is against the wall and your hand is in front diagonal. We're gonna do one biceps curl, lift your leg. One biceps curl, lift into a kind of awkward angled plank, lift. So curl all the way up. If you wanna use your heaviest weight here, you could, because in this position, your bicep is pretty strong. Up, push into the wall with that other leg. So this is core as well as upper body. If you don't want to do this extension, maybe just stay here and then here or go faster. You choose. Try to do the extension though. Press into the foot against the wall. It really helps. Okay, we're going to grab the other weight. And before we do the other side, just stand up for me. And we're going to do some biceps curls with a twist. Shoulders down and back. So come up and twist. And back down. Simple stuff. Now really control it on the down. Twist it. And down. Tummies are in. Always blow out on the exertion. Don't swing your arms. Control the up. Control the down. We're going to the other side next, doing that same biceps curl move. I'm going to have my back to you, but you know the drill now. 
and down. So lose one of the weights. The other leg is against the wall. And you've got your arm in diagonally in front, so you've got space. And we're gonna do one curl up, one plank. So just extend that leg. Now I want you to really push into the wall. So as you're curling that weight up to your opposite shoulder, really squeeze the bicep. If you're not squeezing, this is not gonna be tough enough unless you're using your heavier weight. Squeeze that bicep up, down. Hold your core really strong. Come on, you can do it. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job coming down. We're gonna do some shoulders. I'm gonna use my lightest weights for this one. We're gonna do a front raise to open to down, to up to forward to down. Come with me. Front, side, down, side, front, down. Now, if you can't do this with the, even the lighter set of weights, Maybe just alternate front raises and then side raises. Okay, that's your option. It is quite tough or bend your arms. That's another option, up, bend, down. It's actually getting super hard now. Side and down. <laughs> Come on, last one and down. Oh my goodness, that was tough, right. Come with your legs against the wall and we're just putting the weights on our hips. Feet against the wall, 90 degree angles, put the weights on your hips and we're just gonna push up, glute bridge and down. So technically you could use the heaviest weights here, up and down. So I really want you to push up and squeeze Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold a little bit at the top. Try and put your weights in such a way that the weight is on the very bottom of your hips so that you actually feel it. And hopefully you're not pushing away from the wall like I am. If you are, just scoot closer and keep going. Really squeeze up. Two and one. We're just gonna use one weight. We're gonna scoot closer and we're gonna reach up one leg at a time, reach up. So reach towards your ankle. Come on, reach up, down and up, down and up. If you want to make this harder, go overhead and reach, overhead and reach. Up to you, what your emphasis wants to be. This one here gets your chest as well because you're pressing, chest pressing every time you lift up and up. Man, it's getting pretty hard for the upper body. Maybe don't come up as high or maybe just do the legs for a few. I don't know, do whatever you need to do to finish it. We're nearly done. Up. Nice job, okay, we're going to do, now you can use the heaviest weight or this one. We're just gonna bring our legs away, bring our arms up and we're just gonna do a out and up. Now if you want to, you can come up with your upper body every time your legs come together. So all the way down with those legs and then zip it up. Down and down and up. Make sure you're lifting up really safely here. Do this for your upper back as well. Come on. Try to squeeze your inner thighs together. Down and up. 10, nine. Down 
And up. Nice job. Now come closer again. We're going to keep this weight, just one weight on our hips. You can use a heavier one. Bring your legs a little bit wider and we're going to do circles with the hips, okay? Three, two, one. Come up and you're circling and you're staying up. So don't come down with your butt. Push into that wall and stay up high. <sighs> Try to keep that weight in a position where you really feel it on your hips. It's easy to just start supporting it with your hands. That's not the point of the weight, right? We're going one direction. Next exercise, the other direction, and that's it. So, what are you gonna give me? Are you gonna give me everything? Or are you gonna half-ass it? Up and around. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna move this because I can hardly see it over there. That's better. So do you remember which way you went? I think I went clockwise. We're going to go anti-clockwise or whichever the other situation is for you. Come up and I'm going to go around this way. Now one side <laughs> may feel a bit more weird and uncoordinated. This side for me is, I don't know what sort of polygon shape this is making, but it's not a circle. Let me just tell you that. Up and around. And if you want to come closer to the wall at any time, if you're scooting away or pushing away like me, then you can, but I'm just gonna finish it in this position. It actually feels like my hamstrings are getting more work because my legs are further away. <sighs> come on, last one. Ouch. Okay, so that one actually got me out of breath. That's it, we're done. We're actually done, people. Let's just rest for a second. Deep breath in. Let's bring our knees in and just rock side to side. I can't believe we had a Yoda sighting. Aren't you happy? I mean, some of you might not be cat people, but if you've been following me for a while, I introduced Yoda, we've had him for nearly three years and he literally never comes in the studio at the right time. And it's Minnie's domain, so I don't like to bring him in. So today he decided to show up and I had to open the door for him. And yeah, I mean, he only came in to eat Minnie's food, let's face it, that's all he wanted. It's not like he wanted to be in the video. But you got to see him cute little fluff ball. He's full of little prickles at the moment. These little seeds that have spikes on them, they get embedded in his fur. Let's turn over. And we constantly have to try and get them out. But in the end, we have to start chopping because it just gets so embedded. It's like a dreadlock around that little prickle. And so he's kind of a little bit shaggy at the moment because we've chopped so many little areas. He doesn't look pristine like he usually does. We even had to shave some areas right down to the skin. Nightmare. Because he doesn't like being brushed. Minnie, on the other hand, she loves being brushed. I brush her every day. He hates it. He just won't let us near it. He attacks the brush. Okay, let's go into a straddle stretch. Just lean forward a little bit. For those of you who are cat people, I'm sorry if I'm going on about my cats too much. Fur babies are life for me. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. I've had people mention that they would prefer my cat not to be in the, sh in the video. And I was like, hmm, that's not happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You might need to find a new instructor. Pull that in. And other side. Bring your feet in and just release through the hips. And then reach over and over and front and front. And then just flex your hand and stretch through the front, the forearms and the biceps. Reach over overhead and then interlace your fingers and bring your palms up. 
side to side. And then behind and up. Oh, that feels heavenly. And then across. And across. So not a typical wall workout today. It was definitely a bit more of a fusion, but I wanted to change things up because we've been pretty much only using the wall as equipment this entire time. So I hope you um, enjoyed me sneaking in some heavier weights. Of course, this whole workout could have been done with light weights as well, or maybe even some ankle weights to change it up. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.